You like that noise? You too can get that for $79.99. Go to lambsomesharp.com. Brad Leone Siri, signature series knife. Who wants to dance? Or make miso fermented potatoes. Ooh, it's almost too, I almost shouldn't have shared it and like put it in a, a restaurant and sold it or something or. Hey guys, today on It's Alive, we're gonna be making miso lacto-fermented potatoes, all right? You wanna get nice, organic uh, Idaho potatoes if you can. You wanna go ahead, uh, you wanna be that person at the store or at the farmer's market, going ahead and inspecting, all right? Look for a nice one. You want a couple, you want no blemishes, no rot spots, you don't want any of the little eyes starting to grow. A nice, solid, perfect potato. I love potatoes, all right? And we're gonna, I washed them nice, a little scrubby scrub with some fresh water, okay? Um, I'm gonna leave the skin on. I'm a big fan of the skin of potatoes, and, and I don't really, I'm also just not a huge fan of peeling them. That's not true, I actually kinda like it. But we're not gonna do that today. So what we're gonna do is cut these into like, well, let's say three eighths. I'm gonna make one perfect one, just to show you. This is what I like. Three eighths by 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 three eighths. If they're too thin, when you cook them, it just gets crispy. And I want the inside to be more still have some potato because I really like potato. And that's gonna be our little our little chip, mate. I wish I had an English accent. Chip, mate. Actually, I wish I was Australian to tell you the truth. Chip, mate. If there was something. Never mind. So yeah, any little dark marks, little boo-boo spots, you're just gonna go ahead and nip those right off, all right? That is not gonna help when we seal it up in a bag with some miso and a little salt to ferment. In fact, it'll probably ruin it. So you wanna get rid of any bad spots and take your time, okay? Take your time. And then basically we're just gonna do a lacto ferment, which we're gonna introduce some miso and that's gonna, you know, it's gonna have a little bit of party in it, but it's just gonna add some umami and big flavor to it. I'm using white miso here, about a half a cup. Um, and white miso tends to be a little sweeter and have a little bit of a lower salt level than say a red miso or other types. So I like to add, let's just say about a teaspoon, a little less. Season like that, a little bit, just like that, a little bit of salt, okay? And then just massage the miso right into it. You really just wanna try to cover, just give a good, I need a bigger bowl, we don't have one. Can we get a bigger bowl, for the love of God, this has gotta be painful to watch. Yeah, just now, Brad, just started getting painful. Huh? And this is gonna be left out at room temperature, you know, around 73 degrees, up to 80. For the most part, it's really just the bacteria and yeast and the microorganisms found on the potato, on the outside, on the inside, that are gonna be consuming its own sugars and starch and giving off gas and fermenting the potato itself. As the salt from the miso and the salt that we added draws out moisture, this will start to swell up a little bit and then it'll get real loose and there'll be a nice little brine in there. It's kind of like a fermented, a lacto-fermented, semi-lactic acid pickled potato that we're then gonna pat dry and roast in the oven. Do a little dippy dip if you want. All right, let's back this up. Whew. Didn't get me that time, NutriChef. Got it. <laughs> and this is great because look, you could do these ahead of time. You've let it ferment for five days, it gets real nice. You keep it in the fridge for two. You got some friends coming over, boom. Lacto-fermented miso potatoes with your little steak or your little uh, got it. roasted eggplant or whatever you're into. Again, I've said this before, what I like about the backpack, especially potatoes. You know, you start cutting potatoes, letting them hang out, they oxidize. They get a little ugly on you in color, right? In the vac bag, we sucked out the air. I mean, there's still oxygen in there. There's still some in there, right? I mean, it's not a perfect vacuum. A space, for God's sakes. But, um. No oh, watch, you stole my watch? I thought I had a watch. Kev, five days later, look at that, all right? 
You fell asleep on the third day. It got real puffy. I had to cut it open and let a little air out, okay? Sleeping on the job, Kev. But I got it, and we're here. It had nice little bubbles. You can't really see it now, but it was, it was active. It was nice. So let's open this up, and we're going we're gonna to get the potatoes out of there. I mean, this might sound silly, but it still it smells like miso starchy potatoes. And you know what? That's a good thing. If you open up this bag and it smells like, a, you know, hot garbage and it smells disgusting and you go, well, then get rid of it. Dispose of it. Do not move further at all. All right. So let's get these out of the bag. And I'm going to lay them out on a little, uh, little parchment lined sheet tray. I don't know where anything is. You know where the half sheet trays are, Kev? Smoke and mirrors. Kev, you can't come in here. Do you have a half sheet? You're lying to me. You said it's in here. In the... Oh, it's right here. Backstage? Yeah. No, you, you have passes? You have a badge? No backstage without passes, pal. Back to our potatoes. Now, they're all ready because, look, it's already kind of soft and starting to like break down. So like it should be, it shouldn't take as long to cook. It's already starting to decompose and break down and get more bioavailable as we eat it. So let's just cook it and see what happens, all right? Found a bigger bowl. Stay late in a buck short, bud. All right, now we're just gonna do a little drizzle of olive oil, all right, Kev? Jesus Christ. Okay, look, that looks good. It's just a little bit. We're gonna mix that up just so it's nice and evenly coated. All right, and then voila. Now we wanna spread them out. Keep your six millimeters here. Different regulations for the, for the potatoes, okay? Now I'm just gonna pop these in the oven, 400, 415, keep an eye on it. I'm gonna keep an eye on them about 15 minutes or so, but uh, that's not science. So we're just gonna have to keep an eye on them and watch. All right, potatoes are done. It's been about 15, 16, 17 minutes. Look at those bad boys. Shoo! This is nice. This is my miso. This is my lacto-fermented miso potato plate, obviously. Well, let's just pour them right on there, huh? Yeah. Ooh. And then look, Kevin, when you were eating lunch, I made a little, a little aioli. Just a little two-egg yolk, some olive oil. So in there, I put a little vinegar in there, a little salt. I microplaned a little garlic in there. Little... Hey, no, no. Get it white, old fellow. Get it white. And no, run out Emulsification. And there we go. I've paid for a lot worse, and I haven't even tried it yet. Okay, let's just, let's just observe real quick. Look at that beautiful bubblage on the outside of the potato. Let's open one up and see what's happening on the inside. Okay. Yep. Cooked all the way through. Little aioli. Oh my God. It has almost like a little remnants, like a little flavor of like a pickle, like a, a deep fried pickle. It's kind of perfect. That potato is perfectly cooked and, and tender all the way throughout. It's like, it's not overly starchy. I bet, I bet you it's, easier to digest too. I bet you it's a healthier, I'm gonna go ahead and dare I say, a healthier alternative to a French fry. Mm. Let's open up a fatter one. See, look, the starchiness gets like more, gets like a little more like set, almost like custardy, not a bad way. And like, oh, hold on. I bet you in that bag that we strained, Look, a lot of the starch, if you let that sit for a while, it would probably settle. A lot of the starch is probably drawn out, which is why you get that nice little blistery kind of outside skin. And then the inside is a little bit more, yeah. This is a good idea. And a good recipe, you know. Mm. I don't really like sweet fries, you know? It's like it's just savory. This has a, a really savory, if this even makes sense, a nice little savory sweetness to it. It's perfect. This is so good, Kevin. You're gonna love eating these.
when you make them at home. <clears throat> I feel like I said this not too long ago. Maybe I'm just getting good. This is one of the best things I've ever made. I, I feel like Morocco would say that. He'd be like, this is one of the best things you ever said. And it's like half in English accent. Shit, Shit mate. mate. That's good. So here we go. Miso, no, here we go. Lacto-fermented miso zuki free. Kids like it, all right? Uncle Tony might like it. I don't have an Uncle Tony, but if I did, he's gonna eat this one, a little aioli. Step it up a little bit, just impress people, you know? Do a little more, a little extra. Or just put ketchup on it, I don't care, whatever you're into. But make them at home, ferment them, ferment, ferment at home. I love you, bon appetit. God. Bon appetit. You know what I get stuck in my head sometimes? I really love at the end when it's like, uh, Watch more or something. It's just like, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, the, yeah, I love that. I love that it says just watch more. <laughs> Cue up the watch more, Hunty. Ah, there it is. Boop. And you wait for the little beat.